So I just finished watching the Charles Martinet, Shigeru Miyamoto, Mario Ambassador video, and you know, it really just got me thinking how I'm really going to miss this era of Nintendo and just the Mario series in general. I swear I made an audio recording of this a while ago, but the thing is, is that I don't remember what I did with it, so I'm just starting this from scratch. Charles Martinet is a name that I've known for a very long time. I have known about it since I was, I'd say probably 12 or 13. Um, and I've been into Mario even longer than that, since I was around, you know, eight years old. So I've been, oh wow, I've been a Mario fan for almost 15 years, oh my god. Uh, um, yeah, so I've been a Mario fan for a minute now, and I have always, you know, enjoyed Charles Martinet's performance. Um, in fact, one of the things that I always appreciate about the Mario series is the fact that Mario has always had a pretty consistent voice actor for the most part. I'm sure we had Lil Bano, we had Walker Boone, we had those voice actors who voiced Mario in the cartoons and all of that, and they were good. They had their own impression of Mario and their own take on him, um, which is something I really enjoyed. I like their versions of Mario, but in terms of like Mario voice actors who've been voicing him the longest, I mean, Charles has been doing it for over like 30 years now because even though in the video, I mean, he says like, you know, I mean, Miyamoto says 96 and that is true, you know, he obviously voiced Mario before then. He voiced Mario in Mario Teaches Typing, which came out in like 92 or 93. So he's been voicing Mario for a very long time. So I've always liked that consistency in, the, in, in games because one of the things that I've always disliked is whenever a voice actor of a character gets replaced because whenever you see a character and you hear them sound a certain way, you always envision them sounding like that. It'd be kind of like if you were talking with your friend and they sound one way on Tuesday, but then on Wednesday they sound completely different, or they sound not like themselves, you know? It's, it would be kind of weird. So I've always kind of liked how the Mario series always kept Charles as the main important characters, like, you know, Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi, all of those characters, you know, versus like, say the Sonic series, for example, where it's like, it's like they replace the voice actors every decade, it seems like. I mean, as of right now, I'd say probably Roger, as long as English voice actor for Sonic, uh, Roger Craig Smith, he's the longest. But, but even then, there was there was talks about him getting replaced, I remember, um, a couple years ago, too. Um, he just happened to come back, so, I mean, I remember playing Sonic Colors and just, like, being so surprised when I heard Sonic's voice, I was like, that's not Jason Griffith! W what is this? So it was, yeah, it was really surprising, so, but I mean, eventually with time I got used to it, and I learned eventually, you know, that's just how the business works. I mean, you know, voice actors normally don't have much of a say in how their characters are really portrayed or really what they can do, as I remember even, you know, this time last year even, like, I remember um, Bayonetta's voice actress, her original one, um, Helena Taylor, like, she, you know, also was kind of getting upset the fact that um, she was getting replaced because she wasn't gonna get paid properly. She wasn't, getting, so I mean, you know, there's a whole business side to this. Um, I'm glad that they released this video um, of, you know, Charles Martinet and Shigeru Miyamoto. You know, it was really heart filming and, and warm, you know. And the good news is that at least Charles isn't dead. I mean, that would be really, really terrible if, like, news broke out that, you know, Charles, like, died or something like that, you know? Um, at least he's still alive and well, and he'll still do, do, still do the voices at cons. And who knows? Like, because he's not voicing Mario in the games anymore, maybe this means that he'll be open to voice Mario in fan projects. Like, if, God willing, if Mario Bros. Z, for example, were to ever get, like, an anime ad adaptation made by a fan, like, maybe, you know, Charles Martinet could actually voice Mario and Luigi for that, you know? So, that, this opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. So that, in of itself, I'm happy for. But at the same time, though, I mean, you know, Familiarity is also comfort, and you know, Charles Martinet being Mario is the one constant that I've had in my life up till this point. So the fact that he's no longer going to be doing him in the vo him in the games, it's like unfortunate, but I am glad that he is doing what he wants to do. And I'm glad that there was no, like, legality issues and that he went out on a strong note, you know, and that he, there's no, like, beef between him and Nintendo or nothing like that. At least not, not that I know of anyway, unless there's something going on behind the curtains or something like that. But un unless, it doesn't seem like there's any beef going on, so that's something that I really appreciate. Overall, it's bittersweet to see him go, but I'm glad that he put in his years. He made mine as well as millions of our childhoods with his voice, and that is something that I will forever appreciate. And God willing, one day I'll, may, I'll meet him at a con or something like that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and yeah, peace and blessings.